Hey guys, it's White Manga here with a new video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys famous manga artist drawings of Taneki from Tokyo Ghoul. Here is actually difficult to find a lot of Japanese popular artists that have drawn their versions of the character, but I still wanted to make sure that I was dealing with uh, the art styles of famous artists, whether it be just online or in person or you know, news outlets or just YouTube or whatever. I just wanted to make sure that they were recognizable and popular and we're just gonna go with that for the video. And then probably explore Ishida Sui's art style, especially the old painterly look it has. And it has this very futuristic, digital, really cool look. And you can see him doing fan art of other series. So we'll still be exploring styles and seeing other series in Ishida Sui's style. Ishida Sui being the creator of Tokyo Ghoul. Here you can see illustrations on the left from Sakimi Chan, you can find on DeviantArt, and the other side you can find Kovshinov Ilya, also on DeviantArt and other social media websites. And these are really popular people, and you can check out their other work. They have really stunning digital coloring, digital art, just art in general, and I highly recommend you guys check them out. You have Mark Crilly here, and you can see his iteration of Kaneki. He had this, in fact, he has a video of this illustration of him like using an ink G pen or nib pen or dip pen to illustrate this and that's what the tutorial was but he you know drew Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul for the video and here is his illustration in his style uh, drawing that character which I also think is pretty cool with all the lines and like you can really feel like the talent in the line work and most of you already know Mark Crelly if you don't uh, I highly recommend you check him out as well channel very similar to mine and that's his series on the left Brody's Ghost also highly recommend. And here you can see Ishida's sketchy art style, digital artwork of uh, Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. And I actually went into more detail in the previous video where I show famous artists drawing Hisoka or drawing uh, Hunter x Hunter characters in their style in the last video. But here you can see it his, and I believe he was an assistant for Togashi, the creator of Hunter x Hunter. And he also, after an interview, illustrated a full 69 page comic for like a Hisoka background story. I'll let you find out more of the details in the Hunter x Hunter video. I'll leave a link to all the videos in the cards or in the description. He has also illustrated Hisoka before. We're seeing characters in his style, different characters, different original characters from other popular series in Ishida's style. And here you can clearly see the differences and like I always champion and say all the time that style is about, you know, it's more than just the way things look. And you can literally see here in the line work in the way he paints, the way he always has his backgrounds and the way he colors, the highlighting, the everything about it is very different from the Hisoka you see on the right. Almost everything about it. It's not just the eyes, hair, and all that cool stuff. And that's what we were looking at in this like my famous manga artist drawing series. Here we see again another character from Haikyuu. This one's obviously very sketchy. I believe that he usually does these kind of uh, illustration like fan art work if the creator of the series he's drawing is having some kind of celebratory moment whether the series has reached some kind of milestone or it's the creator's birthday. Things like that. And by the way, I haven't watched Haikyuu yet. Y'all can let me know how good it is if it's worth the look. Here we have another series, another, literally another series, another. <laughs> you can see Ishida's version on the left and the original creators on the right. I believe the original creator's name is Hiro Kiyohara. I haven't seen another, so I can't really speak that much to it. it actually reminds me of Tokyo Ghoul just looking at it as is, so I'm sure it's kind of like a horror, maybe sane kind of thing. So if you're into Tokyo Ghoul, I guess check it out. I don't know, I'll check it out. I'll you know look into it. And here we get to see more popular series like here you see his Sasuke from Naruto by Masashi Kishimoto, One Punch Man by One, but here illustrated by Yusuke Murata. You look at the differences in style, then Mob Psycho by Just One, and again you see his style, just the way he colors, the way he puts all that stuff together, like it seems like just having so much fun. And here you see Rei from Neon Genesis, and just look at how vastly different they are. Both cool, both the same character obviously, but the styles just make the characters pop in different unique ways. But then as you know, I'll be using this to kill a stone in my Inktober journey. And by the end of this month, I'll put a, a compilation video showing all the illustrations I made this month with ink and all that cool stuff for Inktober, because I can't make a video for every Inktober illustration I do. But if you want to follow every illustration, you can follow me on my social media. So this will be my version 
of the character Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul and you know just to join the fun uh, keep the video visually pleasing and I know a lot of you guys want me to draw this illustration that I always get comments about doing Tokyo Ghoul and doing the research on that and this was fun I really like the illustration at the end of the day have I seen Tokyo Ghoul yeah I saw the first season the whole anime the whole first season but and anytime I tell a, a fan they're always like no 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 read the manga read the manga or um, you know and don't watch the second season I always there I'm always told not to watch the second season so y'all can you know clarify for me in the comments what's actually going on uh, I'm assuming that the manga is where to go uh, and say maybe the first season anime was not that good but I, I thought it was pretty okay you know I didn't hate it uh, so yeah I, I am familiar with uh, Tokyo Ghoul even though it has been a while so here I'll be doing my version uh, usual the same thing you know a sketch then I go in with ink as per Inktober uh, and then I go in with my Copic markers and have fun with that and I hope you guys enjoy the illustration that I come up with. I was actually originally going to do a lot of stuff in the background but I just liked how it was just all white background so I didn't do anything again and you can kind of see that when I was doing the sketches I wanted to do some really crazy stuff from like the using the red tentacle like things that come out from his back but uh, when I just inked and I saw the white background I was like ah this is dope yeah I'm done I think I think this is done and sometimes with these uh, traditional illustrations, I always turn it into mixed media and add a little bit, a little bit of stuff digitally in here. I didn't do that much, much stuff digitally. I was pretty satisfied with what I created from the jump. I think the character is pretty cool. The character design is pretty cool. I think the mask is pretty iconic. So that's good. Y'all can let me know what your favorite character is from the series or what you think about the series Tokyo Ghoul at all. For those who are unfamiliar with who I am, I'm the creator of Apple Black, published and serialized at Sad AM. You can read the first four chapters of Apple Black. For free, I'll leave it in the description below. Or you can follow me on all social media. Everything you could possibly need will be in the description below, including a link to where you can find out and check out the diverse digital anthology magazine where Apple Black My Series is published Saturday AM, which is kind of like a Shonen Jump with all the liked titles. And you see uh, Apple Black, Clock Striker, Saigami, Bully Eater, Paradise Down, Soul Beats, Titan King. The list goes on, Spoon, the, the list goes on. I highly recommend you guys check out all those series. I'll leave a link to the website in the description as well. But we'll also be launching Saturday PM in December. And how fitting, the, you know, Kaneki, I, I believe the Tokyo Ghoul is pretty sane. It's not, it's not shonen. It's pretty dark. And that's kind of like the spirit of Saturday PM. So I highly recommend you guys check that out as well. As I will also be having a new series in that digital magazine and you can think of it as the more mature obviously we'll have more gore nudity and all that stuff but it's more it's still focused as always on interesting stories it's just that now everything's gonna be a little more uncensored so my new uncensored series that will be launching in Saturday p.m. and again links to everything you could possibly need to be in the description below but for now you can check out Apple Black Apple Black Volume 2 will also be coming out in November so as you guys can see I have a lot on my plate and in time, I'll go into more detail about what my new Uncensored series actually is and what's about and all the characters and all that fun stuff. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. I did. Please leave a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or you have anything to add. Please subscribe. And for those who have watched this video to the end, that helps a great deal. I highly appreciate it. YouTube's algorithm is all happy happy when people watch a video to the end or you know watch the video multiple times and things like that but whatever you can is highly appreciated uh, for those who have already purchased Apple Black Volume 1 and can't wait for Volume 2 I highly appreciate the support and enthusiasm and all that stuff Apple Black Volume 2 trailer is ready to drop and I'll drop it at the appropriate time again subscribe thanks for watching I think this illustration came out pretty well don't forget to hit that bell so you stay notified each time I upload absolutely anything. Follow me on all my social media, Twitter, Instagram, my Facebook page, DeviantArt, if you're still on DeviantArt. <laughs> Follow Saturday AM social media as well. And Saturday PM social media because it's pretty new. So there you have it, guys. Um, this is my Kaneki illustration. Uh, I will go watch season two of Tokyo Ghoul just to see what all the fuss is about um, again leave comments on <laughs> what exactly is going on I know I know that uh, I guess the manga is the way to go and then season one is acceptable but yeah you know, I want to see the disaster if it is a disaster 
I have Live Volume 2 this November. Check out my other videos because I have videos like this and more. Thanks for watching. This is my manga. And I'm out.